welcome to the final session in the series. Um, today, the uh, work uh, involved uh, doing some adjustments, sort of the final adjustments to the painting. Um, basically, uh, checking that all of the highlights were where they needed to be in terms of values and color, uh, and um, making sure that overall there is a sense of unity in the piece. So for the highlights, uh, because the uh, mid-tones here are very warm, what I did was I went in and uh, punched in the highlight in a cooler color, which is to say uh, titanium white and a, just a touch of Payne's gray. And that really allows the highlight to sparkle. There were also some minor repairs to be done down here. I dragged some paint across again on my hand. Um, and the signature of the piece, uh, which is um, to uh, basically, I, I use a paint pen instead of a paintbrush to do my signatures. I just find it easier to do it that way, but I don't think there's any right or wrong way for that. So what did I learn doing this piece? Well, um, the size of it means that when you're adding in detail, it's a bit easier than it is at the smaller sizes, um, simply because the brush uh, has more room to move and there's less fine motor skill involved. Bigger pieces, of course, also tend to have more impact. When you walk into a room and see this piece, it really does draw the eye. On the downside, or the challenges, as it were, this sort of felt like uh, a game of high stakes poker for me. Um, there was, I felt more pressure to get it across the finish line. And, and I don't know if that's a function of having the video camera sort of documenting every step, or if it was really because it's a large piece and there's a, quite a substantial in, investment in terms of time and money uh, when you're working at these sizes. Um, and also just, um, I, I learned that I really need to be more patient while I'm painting. Um, I guess it's not an issue if I'm doing an eight by eight and can do it in a day, then there's not much patience involved. But this was on my easel for um, almost a month and a half. And so uh, it's, uh, by the end of it, I, I was a bit tired of looking at it and just wanting it to be done, which I think is probably common uh, for people who work at these sizes. So um, thank you all for following along. Uh, I wanted to give you a small gift uh, for your patience in, in uh, following all of these uh, videos. Um, there's a, an address on your screen right now. If you go to that address, it's on my website, you'll be able to download a high resolution uh, image of the painting um, that you can use, you know, whether as your uh, computer desktop image or on your phone or whatever you'd like actually. Uh, it's high enough resolution that you can even print it out. So as for the title of the piece, um, you may have noticed that I was struggling in that last episode when I was applying this glaze up here. I was struggling to the point that I wasn't sure the painting was going to survive. I, it had what, what I think of as a near-death experience because I almost hauled the whole thing out to the back uh, of the barn and, and, and buried it, as it were. So um, the title is in honor of that particular moment during the process. And so 30 by 40, oil on cradled birch panel. This is Into the Light. Thanks for watching.